You say been there, done that. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, oh, what's up? Like, hold on, right quick. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and uh, do my intro. Well, let me see. Am I gonna do the? Yeah, yeah. I might as well do it. Hold, hold on, right quick. Hold on. Hit that brand button. So you, so you. In the building. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show, the coolest podcast show on the tube right now. That's what's up. I'm glad everybody is here. And I got a special, special, special guest in the building. As you guys can see, I got him on the screen. That's what's up. Let me give this man a little bit of background. So my my man uh, did a TikTok with him. And so you, so you seen him this morning he inspired me as you can see he has a, a slight disability but it didn't stop it so Hector man tell us what happened Car accident bro uh drunk driving now I never thought it happened to me that one moment man this morning I'm sitting in the truck I see you back and you back him better than some people that's <laughs> you know I'm not gonna say you're not able but you know what I mean what keeps you going every morning man man those people behind me there were a couple days there were a few moments whenever like man i I wanted to give in, give up, and those people behind me just inspire me every day. See, they always want to see me succeed, see me push forward. Man, because of them, I'm actually doing better now than I was before my accident. Man. It takes a little bit more work, a little bit more hustle, but now I'm doing better. So you, so you. And, and showed this man on his TikTok doing the damn thing. And I seen the TikTok and I was like, yo, bro. Let me holler at this man. I, I need this man on the show so I, I can show everybody that what he's doing and how he's doing it, it just lets you know that anybody could do this game right here, man. I want to welcome to the Sir. building, man, my man Hector in the house. Well, uh, appreciate you having me, man. Appreciate you. No doubt, no doubt, man. What's going on with you? I was chilling, brothers. Got home from work a little while ago and just, just chilling right now. All right, so before we get into everything, man, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody and let let everybody know what you used to do before trucking. Uh, man, so my name's Hector. Uh, I'm from Houston, Texas. Um, before I got into trucking, yeah. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, my man say he's from Texas. Let, let me break it. Hold on. How long you been living down in Texas, my G? Man, all my life, bro. I, I was born in Houston, raised in Houston. I'm still here, man. I'm, I'm, I ain't going nowhere else. So you, so, so you from the home of the, uh, of the chopped and screwed, the scissor? Is this, is this yeah. still, is chopped and screwed still popular down there, man? Oh, for sure, for sure. Like everybody, if if you're trying to come out of Houston, like you gotta rep that screw. Man. Hey, like it, it's just, it's a done. Man, Don't listen, deal, man. listen. Yeah. Let me let me tell you. Back in uh, back in fifteen, uh, let me see. A little bit before fifteen, I want to say, man, I I want to go back. I I want to say at least. Oh my God, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. I I want to say back in the in 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 the two between the two thousands and the two ten twenty tens, screw got so popular. That it came to Cleveland, bro, and when it came to Cleveland, it just it just blew up. I was the one, yes, I was yeah. the one that brought in that that brought in the screw artist from Little Flip. You know what I'm saying? From back when oh, he was, shit. I can do that. Remember that with the with yeah. the Lucky Charm, with the Lucky yeah. Charm uh, <laughs> uh, CD case, man. That was me. Motherfucking uh, yeah. chameleon there, and look where chameleon yeah, is at, man. Look where chameleon is at, bro. Like, I mean, <laughs> amazing, man. And he, he was only in the game for a little bit too, man. That's that's what's so great about it. Like, he came he, in, he knew he he came in, got his money, and left, man. And took off, yeah. And Paul, you know, I got to give it to Paul Wall and the grills and all like that. Uh, who else? Who else? Slim Thug, you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. ABN, you know, Trey, and all them guys down there, man. Who who Trey, who, zero, who else? Bun. Who, Bun B. Who who else was uh who else was big and rest in peace to DJ Screw, man. So who who else was who who else down there that was repping DJ uh DJ Screw in the in the screwed up clip that you know, bro? 
man, Pimp C with UGK, man, that was that was the top. Uh, man, Zero still around, still making music, still putting it down too. Um, Rest in man, peace, Trey, fact, Trader right? True. Actually, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. Trader True still still around too, still doing his thing. Um, man, we got. We have a lot, man. I could keep going. I uh, I know, man. We could we could make a whole <laughs> we could make a whole <laughs> separate show just on just on the screw click and everything, man. But uh, it's all about you right now, bro. Yeah, so man, just talking about that. Yeah, it's all about you, man. Uh, what you used to do before you uh before you got into trucking? Uh, man, I was actually driving. Uh, but I was driving as a Pizza Hut driver. <laughs> yeah man yeah. i know you got some bro, so, I, I know you got some stories so, on that man man bro i hey you know y- y'all can say whatever y'all want about pizza drivers but man i had a great time doing it man i don't know how many places i would pull up and just keep it cool with somebody you they would open up the door and you could smell that smoke Mm-hmm. I had the same line every single time, man. It smells good in there. <laughs> <laughs> every time, man. You know, I don't know how many times Pizza I got Pizza and weed. Out. Yeah, man. Pizza and weed goes together. Yeah, exactly, man. Munchies, man. So how long you been putting it down for uh, for Pizza Hut? Uh, man, I was I was there for a good minute, man. I was uh, I was there for at least a good five five years seven maybe closer to seven um yeah something like that so i got out of high school uh and i found a little job somewhere do, working with computers mm-hmm. um but i was going to school at the same time and uh man, I, kept, I started driving over here at pizza kept going to school um uh, graduated but man i was i had got had just got caught up with some some legal shit on the side and right uh man i just it was hard for me to find something so that's whenever i looked into driving you know both my parents were drivers so kind of came easy so you so you say you uh it, what happened you 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 caught a charge or something uh what what happened you did a bid what's up yeah no nah, so i caught uh two charges um mm. I was at a I was at a bar drinking uh, for a homeboy's birthday, and I went into the restroom with a little some mommy, and I was as I was passing it to him to homeboy, uh, security walked in, you know, and don't 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 the tell me the, 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 what's the security guard was was like an off duty cop or something, or he was just a security and he just snitched on you. So you, so you. So the security guard snitched on you, or was he an off duty cop or something? Uh, nah. So uh, he called his other security guard buddy, and they basically handcuffed me, called HPD, um, and once HPD got there, they tested what I had on me. Came out positive and then took me on the spot. Damn, so man. on top and on top of having uh, the stuff on me, uh, I had my gun on me too. Oh, right, damn. and they had just passed a law that you can't have a concealed weapon in the and... premises of like a alcohol consumption or something like that. Damn, right, man. So, so how yeah, it's a caught, caught two felony cases right then and there. How how long you how long you was out? out for before you came back out how long, how long um, was the bid man i was luckily i was just i was in there just for a couple of days man, I, okay. I, I got bonded out um you ain't so, you ain't do no time over 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 none of that nah nah so okay. uh just in the time that uh, there was a bond set um i managed to pay that got out and mm-hmm. man did did probation after that and i was on probation for for four years for that all right so doing so doing that so doing that little bit of time man uh before we get into your trucking let you guys know that you know my man is an amputee you know what i'm saying uh was what is it the right uh the the left arm so i'm yeah i'm missing my left hand 
Yeah. So what what happened to you with 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 that? Was you was you born like that or? What nah, happened? nah. So this happened um, in December 2019. Um, oh, just recent. Yeah, yeah. Less than two years ago, man. Um, so that same year, that same August, actually. So like four months prior to the accident, I had uh, got my license for trucking. So, man, I got my CDL and I started driving, was there for four months. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, man, I, I went out one night, um, to celebrate. My sister was in town from Cali. Um, she stays in Cali right now and, uh, and she was in town and I hadn't seen her since like way before. So since she was in, I was like, man, look, let me take you out. I just got this job, and you know that's what we were doing, celebrating the fact that she was in. And you said celebrating, and the celebrating that you got a job. Yeah, exactly. Like I like hadn't that. seen her since before I had got the job, so man, it was just a you know a big celebration type deal. And um, yeah, man, I, le I left the bar, uh, and man, I felt good. You know, like, I I've been worse, and I've made it home before. You know, like I. Uh, it was just bad timing, I guess. I'm, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I lost control on the on the highway, hit the wall, and then whenever I came to a stop, uh, another car came and t-boned me. And yeah, that, that, that's the one that did me in. Um. So at 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 the scene of the accident, was you was you still conscious? Was was you still conscious of knowing what was going on afterwards when everybody started coming there and they you know started to you know get you out of the car and everything? Yeah, so I, I was conscious. Um, even on the police report, it said that um, I was responding normally. Right, that there was no. Uh, signs of intoxication um that's good yeah so everything was good um but the actual accident itself everything that happened in between like i don't remember any of that like all that is it's a blur it's, yeah it's a blur i don't nothing i don't remember like i remember leaving the bar i remember getting in the car driving off and pulling onto the highway and uh, the next thing I remember was waking up, looking up and, uh, seeing both of my parents on, like on each side of me. I was like, man, like, like what happened? Like what's going on? And they said, man, you're about to go into surgery. You're, they're about to take off your hand. I was just like, what? And I knocked back out. So when I came back to it, like I didn't have a hand. Wow! You know like it, yeah, it you, all happened you, quick. You, 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 when when you when you woke up, you know, out of you know out of recovery and everything, and you happen to notice that you you know, is it is it from is it from the elbow down or it's from uh, the, it's it's like halfway between the elbow and the wrist. All right. So you woke up and you noticed that 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 you know that they removed it. How did you feel? Um, a little lost for words, actually. Just I, I, almost, how, almost how I just felt right now. Um, lost for words. I didn't really know what to say. I didn't know how to feel about it. Um, I think I was a little lucky that I had so many people there uh, supporting me. Uh, I had a lot of family come in and see me. And just having everybody there kind of got my mind away from it. You know, I was trying to not seem so down about it. I was trying to put everybody in a better mood. Like, because I've been in the hospital before, so I know how every, everything is. So, um, yeah, man, just seeing everybody there, man, I didn't want anybody to see me down. I didn't want anybody to think for even a moment that, I was in a bad place in a bad position when 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 now you're in the hospital um you know surrounded by your family and everything and they're there to you know support you and everything and i'm 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 glad that you're here bro uh you know i'm glad that you survived and it was sure. only you know if, if it was only that 
but you know during the time in the hospital and all like that did uh did hpd come to the hospital to talk to you about the about the accident um not to me they, they were there before i came to so like I guess it was like at the beginning they they were there, but there wasn't any charges pressed on me. Like everything was good. Even like a couple of days later, once I actually left the hospital, um, my job uh, where I was trucking at um, asked if I had a, a charge on me. Right. So right. my it dad actually sure went down because he he worked. Yeah. So my dad, both my parents actually work at the same company. Um, and my dad went down to HPD, uh, to make sure. Yeah. Right. To ask if there were any charges on me and they said, no, like everything was good and everything was good for a while. And it wasn't until a couple months later, the lady that hit me decided to press charges on me. Hold up. Hold, yeah. Hold up. She, I don't she, know. Hit, she hit you and caused the accident and she wanted to press charges on you. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's the same reaction I had. Okay, so hold but, up, hold hold up before so, we touch on that. Hold on before we touch on that, right quick. Um, you back out of you you back out of the hospital. You at home. You you still you know you still in recovery, and all like that, and getting used to your new life and everything. How long you know? How long was it? Was the process of you? getting back to you know getting used to your your um your arm and your you know what was the process of all of that um so as far as, far as like missing the hand um i can tell you that i'm still kind of getting used to it you know it's still not you know it's almost two years later and i'm still you know i still think about it like every day like fuck like man i'm missing a hand you know it's like little things like and it's small things too you know i brush my teeth putting on my socks and just small things that always remind me like man like you're missing a hand um but i started trying to move past that um probably about three months after the actual accident because i was in a neck brace as well so i lost my left hand and I fractured two vertebrae on my neck too. So yeah, man, it was it was it was bad. Um, so for three months I was in a neck brace, and uh, and one of those stiff ones, you know, that I couldn't even move. After that, I I had like one of, like a more uh, cushiony um, neck brace. But it wasn't until after that that I was able to that they gave me the the past to be able to start physical activity physical i started therapy. working out yeah you know i started working out going to physical therapy i started trying to you know better myself because i had to make up for the fact that i lost a hand you know right. i had to get the rest of my body uh you know along with my mind of course but you know i had to get my body there as well uh, as far as stronger to make up for having lost a hand that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Again, let let me salute you, man. I mean, I, I I gotta salute you for everything that you went through. You know, two years later, you you power back. You you're up. You know, your your energy, bro, is just is just surreal right now, man. All right, so let's 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 get to this. Let's get to this lady. What what the what the hell, man? Like. Like what? Uh, how how did you find out that that she pressed charge? You, you you got something in the mail? Cops came to you? What? Yeah. So all of a sudden, um, I started getting a bunch of letters in the in the mail uh, from uh, lawyers trying to represent me, and I didn't understand why. Right. So man, I decided to look into it and. Uh, and uh checked online called the the attorney's office as well not attorneys but the courts yeah all that and uh there was a warrant for my arrest and i didn't know why right i tried to had to figure out why and it was that i was being charged with a dwi um 
And that DWI, so it came to be that I was only being charged with it because the lady decided to press charges. So at, once she decided to press charges, the, the I guess her lawyers or whoever went back and looked up my uh, blood work and seen that I was intoxicated. Oh, man. So, yeah, so... Uh, at that point, I got charged with a DWI, but um, I actually just finished that. I was I got put on probation for that for a year, and I actually just got done with that uh, in September. Now, so I'm done with that. Now, with uh, now since the lady called herself, try to press charges, did she try to sue you in the midst of that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was suing me. She was suing me and the bar that I was I had just left. Uh, but but she was yeah, the one so, that but she was the one that that ran into you though. She was the one yeah, that man, she was I, the one that was, caused was, the accident. Yeah, so I like I said I had lost control and I hit the wall on the on the freeway. So when I hit that wall and I came to a stop, her her case or what she was saying was that I was covering two lanes. Like as she was driving by that I, she, I was covering two lanes and uh, by the time she saw me, it was too late and she hit me. Mm. But Man. yeah, so, uh, but thankfully like actually just like less than a month ago, uh, I got a call from my insurance and that that's taken care of as well. Like that's done with, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So in other words, you know, you know, being that you had insurance, they, you know, they covered the damages on your car and her car.